Welcome back to the Quran Guide Channel's first series on the Quran's erroneous translations and the justifications for preserving them, discussing the first method called tazrif -e ayat Part 2. Technique of understanding the Quran by choosing the wrong or even a correct meaning of a word and applying it to all instances in which it appears, regardless of its context, is known as tazrif -e ayat This strategy is deceitful and misleading. Today, we'll examine an illustration of how they chose the incorrect definition of a word and applied it wherever a word akin to it appeared without considering its context to support their pagan rituals and beliefs. For instance, when the word is accurately translated as meaning to stop or quit, the Hajj and Umrah in Ayah number 196 of Surah 2, the adherents of the deceitful tactic of tazrif -e ayat bring up numerous other verses where the same word is once more wrongly translated to mean to complete and not to stop. They do this to legitimize and defend their paganism which includes doing the Hajj and Umrah and other similar erroneous rituals and beliefs. Each part in this series will analyze one of those surahs that tazrif -e ayat supporters use to incorrectly claim that that word أتمو وأتمو in verse 196 of Surah 2 means complete. Today, we will examine a section of one of these verses from Surah 2, to demonstrate that the word here means to stop, as opposed to the traditional interpretations that purposefully and mistakenly translate it as to complete, in order to support their pagan practice of fasting. Let's see the accurate word for word translation of a clause from Ayah 187 of Surah 2, where the word correctly means to stop, rather than complete, based on the context. Use up and fulfill your desire whenever you find the fair means, differentiating, separating from unfair means, then stop supporting the foul. Or, take in and fulfill your desire whenever you see a clear difference between fair and unfair sources, then stop standing towards the ignorance, towards the darkness. Or, devour and saturate whenever you see a clear difference between the fair and the unfair means, then stop supporting the ignorance. Or, take in, use up, Consume and fulfill your desire whenever distinguishes, detects for you the fair means from unfair means from clear breakout then end supporting the unfair, foul, blacklisted, blackening. Let's now start a more thorough discussion of this clause. It would be insane to apply a word's identical meaning to every other sentence in which it appears disregarding the context whether in its original form or a derivative. You will never comprehend what is said in the Quran if you employ this technique to undermine the Quran's genuine message. Therefore, any fabrications and lies that were produced during the translation in one location are mindlessly made throughout the entire Quran in this terrible way of reading it. Because the corrupt Persian imams of the early Islamic movement read and taught the Quran incorrectly through tazrif -e ayat in order to advance their polytheist paganism and Manichaeism, we unwittingly fell into their trap. After the Persian breed, Quranic scholars continued to adhere to the same pernicious path of tazrif -e ayat Because of this, we are unable to extract the value from it and instead see it as a collection of fairy tales or as a means of rewarding ourselves through recitation. Let's study a few more English words to illustrate how meanings are always contextually relevant to grasp any sentence before we use examples from the Quran. There are multiple context-based definitions for the term, dear. Following are two sentences where the word, dear, is used. First, our friendship is very dear to me. Second, eggs are very dear just now. The English term, dear, is used to signify, dear to someone, in one sentence but it is also used to mean, something expensive or for gone up price of anything, in the other. So, 
How can you determine the exact meaning of dear in the two sentences above without taking context into consideration? The English word trust has a different meaning when used in sentences like trust me versus I have created a trust to care after my property. Also, the verb treat can be used in a variety of ways, such as doctor treats the patients, wood is treated in the seasoning, and her husband treats her like a slave. The verb die can be employed in a variety of ways, as in the phrases she is dying for him and he is dying of cancer. Although the first sentence depicts her missing him, the second statement describes his demise. Every language has a large number of terms that might have many meanings depending on the situation. Therefore, those who attempt to not deduce a word's meaning from its context are mistaken. The Quran forbids us from understanding it in any other way and commands us to take its words in accordance with the grammatical structures of the columns and context in which they appear. So the Quran says in verse 4 of 73, word to word correct translation, and columned the Quran. A context form of grammatical style of understanding. It simply means that the Quran has been columned in its context and formed in grammatical style to understand it within its context. The word ratili means made in context or columned and tartilan means a formation of tajwidun are found in tajwidun which is known as word to word gradual grammatical progression of understanding within the context. This is because the Arabic word tartilun is a synonym of the Arabic word tajwidun to mean having gradual grammatical progression within the contexts or columns of Quranic speech to understand or to translate the Quran in its true spirit. Therefore, the verses of the Quran will be read, understood, and translated within their contexts or columns and according to the grammatical progression of their speech and in accordance with the grammatical formation of their words. When we correctly translated the ayah 196 of 2 word to word correct translation as and be terminated, be ended, be finished, be dropped, be thrown away the Hajj and Umrah for Allah, where the word was translated as to terminate, out to terminate, to give up, and to quit, the Hajj and the Umrah, because of one or more of the following reasons, Quranic scholars do not accept the correct translation. First, it does not match the false translation of the word أتمو, which is passed from one generation to another, or second, maybe accepting the truth mentioned in the Quran is so hard for them to believe, or third, the correct translation of the above verse could be clashing with their false beliefs, i.e. to continue and complete the Hajj and the Umrah instead of to give up, to stop, to quit, to abandon the Hajj and the Umrah. Whatever the exact reasons, the followers of the false technique of tizrif ayat did not accept the correct contextually based translation of the word أتمو, as to terminate to give up, to quit, and presented a long list of verses where the same word or its derivatives appeared to mean to complete. I do not have spare time to pick all participles of the root of أتمو, from all verses of the Quran and send the correct translation of them to satisfy the itch for tizrif ayat. However, to show the reality of tizrif ayat, I can give an overview and put light on eight verses containing the word أتمو, or its participles which are typically mentioned, and they are as follows. Out of these eight verses, today we will review one of them, and that is Surah number 2 Ayah number 187. The mainstream false translation of the above verse is as under in which the word أتمو is falsely translated to mean complete. And eat and drink until the white thread of dawn appear to you distinct from its black thread. Then complete your fast till the night appears. Translated by Yusuf Ali and others. The correct translation is as follows. 
and eat and drink while becomes aware, distinguishes, expresses for yourself the white stitched robe from the black stitched robe of the exploded immoral, sinful, wicked act then be finished the determination towards the darkness. Word to word 100% correct translation of the clause. وَكُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمُ الْخَيْطُ الْأَبْيَضُ مِنَ الْخَيْطِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ ثُمَّ أَتِمُّوا الصِّيَامَ إِلَى اللَّيْلِ First, I draw your kind attention to the clause وَكُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا Here no negation is found to stop eating and drinking. Next, according to the grammar, the Arabic word حَتَّى is used as a preposition to mean until, to, till, unto, while, pending, and over. The same word hatta is also used as an adjective to mean even, and as a conjunction to mean then, and as an adverb to mean whenever. Now the word يتبينا is a present verb of تبين that is تبين الأمر to mean pinpoint something clearly indicate, show, display, illustrate, state, expose, make something clear, expressing something clearly, demonstrate, bring into notice, recognize, understand, to be clear, be seen clearly, be perceived, become aware, comprehend, differentiate, distinguish, get to know, grasp, identify, know, notice, observe, perceive. It's noun. Mubainun is a popular Arabic word to mean an absolute indicator, clearly expressed, explained, demonstrated, and clearly pinpointed, etc. Quranic word al is derived out of root letter which refer to following as and other derivatives of the same root are used in different forms according to the need. Letter yeah. in between consonants normally used to form adjectives or to show someone or something already having some quality or possessing special characteristics. Such adjectives sounds like past verbs therefore sometime they are understood and translated as past verbs. Quran uses plenty of these adjectives such as Hakimun from Hukmun Karim from Karam Rahimun from Rahimun Likewise Quranic word al has been made from Khattu adding yeah between consonants kha and ta of Khattu You may or may not find the accurate meaning of al in dictionaries or translators However According to its formation Quranic word al is not simply a thread or line as it is falsely translated but something having thread, something of lines, something having trace of something, something having a track of something, something having a range of something, something having strand of something, something having streak of something, something having path of something, something having root of something, something having way of something something having means of something. This is the reason why in Saudi Arabia buses running on local routes are called khattu because they know its correct meaning as means or source of or way of transportation, road, path, trail, trace, range and locate etc. Also, line is worldwide use as a means of transportation such as metro line, orange line, central line, district line or popular local trans in many countries. In Saudi Arabia people know that khattu is a local bus as tulbaladi and khattu riyad Arabs correctly use Arabic words in their everyday language but when the same words come in the Quran they take them in different meaning to hide the actual message of the Quran and to bring their rituals in the false translation of the Quran Likewise popular Arabic phrase khutawatu shayatini is correctly translated to mean evil means evil sources, evil ways and footsteps of evils. Now the word correctly means exploding, dissipating, immoral, wicked, or sinful act. However, in the Quran, it is falsely translated to mean the morning prayer or the morning time, but in Surah 2. Ayah 187 the same word al is translated to mean dawn. This is because, in the hunger fasting season of Ramadan, they want us to stop eating and drinking at dawn in dedication to their moon god. 
Hence, to reach the correct meaning of Arabic word, Fajr, please see its product, Fujur, or Al Fujur, in any Arabic dictionary and also in the Quran. The word asiyam is not a plural of the word asom or som, but according to its grammatical formation, asiyam is the subject and active participle or doer of the action of Arabic verb sum to mean act as deaf and dumb without listening to anyone or having strict determination of something. To understand the correct meaning of Arabic Quranic word asiyam, which is derived out of Arabic root word sab, mean. Mean. Please see my article, No Fast But, Steadfast, the link is in the description. The article, Ila, is a popular Arabic preposition which is on purpose falsely mistranslated to mean, till, to bring in the false translation of the Quran, the pagan hunger fasting till night. However, a layman knows that this preposition ila, is used in Arabic to mean to or towards, such as if you want to go to Makkah, you will say in Arabic ila Makkah. If you want to go to Jeddah you will say ila Jeddah. Likewise, the Quran uses its phrase ila layli, to correctly mean to or toward the darkness, but they falsely translate this Quranic phrase ila layli, to mean till or until night. So, they use in standard Arabic the preposition ila before the name of a town or before the direction where they want to go but it is strange how they forget the correct use of the same article ila in the translation of Quranic phrase thumma atimu siyama ila layli of Quranic Surah 2 Ayah 187 hence there is no doubt that those who falsely translate the Quran are perverted Satan but this is also the evilness of those who know Arabic and they don't bother paying their attention towards the words of the Quran and they conveniently rely on the false understanding of the Quran given by evil clergy of Islam. The correct translation of the verse وَكُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمُ الْخَيْطُ الْأَبْيَضُ مِنَ الْخَيْطِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ ثُمَّ أَتِمُوا الصِّيَامَ إِلَى اللَّيْلِ In which the Quran urges us to be ended the habitual darkness of consuming the black or unlawful wealth, is also proven right from the statement of the very next verse, 188 of Surah 2. وَلَا تَأْكُلُوا أَمْوَالَكُمْ بَيْنَكُمْ بِالْبَاطِلِ وَتُدْلُوا بِهَا إِلَى الْحُكَّامِ لِتَأْكُلُوا فَرِيقًا مِنْ أَمْوَالِ النَّاسِ بِالْإِثْمِ وَأَنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ In which we are urged not to eat others' wealth and not to eat the money of bribery. This verse 188 of Surah 2 also proves wrong to the mainstream translation of the verse 187 of Surah 2 in which it is invented to eat and drink until white thread or white strip of morning appears and differentiates from the black thread or black strip of night, which does not match with the statement of its following verse 188 of Surah 2, nor does it match with the context coming from the verse 181 of Surah 2 in which it has been condemned for change in deceased legal will. And in the verse 182 of Surah 2 a fair distribution of inherited wealth is urged among all beneficiaries, with justice, and the next verse 183 of Surah 2 booked as to be steadfast or determined on right in the same way as the steadfastness was booked on people before us. Yeah, it clearly says that you're only allowed permissible things. You're not allowed forbidden or illegal things. That's what they're saying. And uh, But they have translated wrongly all these words like uh, hatta is, uh, is coming, you know, as when we say if or whenever. So when you get a chance or whenever 
you want to use something, you want to utilize something, you want to take something in. Kalu washrabu. Take something in, you want to utilize something in. Hatta whenever. If. If you want to take something, if you want to eat something, if you want to drink something, if you want to take something, kulu. Kulu is, is from kul, akal. So it's, it's not only eating something, it's taking, taking inside or taking in something. When we say, you know, when, when, when doctor give you medicine, what do they say? Take two tablets. <laughs> what does it mean? Eat two tablets, take in, right? So kulu also says take. Washrabu. Immerse. Immerse into. Go into. Yeah? Go through. Hatta. If. If you go through, if you take something in, whenever or if. So this is condition. Hatta is condition. Yitabayela. Is. This condition is if you detect something. Detect. If you detect, if you understand. So the condition is to understand. Yeah? Lakum, to you, for you. Al khayt. Khayt is coming from khat. This is the same word which has been used in the Quran in the phrase khatwat is shayateen. Khat is the lines. Line of shayateen. It's the lines. It's the source. Means. Ways. There's so many things, so many meanings. But the proper thing is, the proper meaning is khayt. Khayt is means way. Yeah, khayt means way, source. Alabiyas. Alabiyas is white. It's not white color. They say just white, you know, like uh, whitening of uh, morning. No, 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 no. It's white like white money and black money. This black and white, like white money and black money. What is white money? Is it is legal? It's legal money. Black money is illegal. Yeah? So white, black and white is legal and illegal. Okay? Permissible or forbidden? So you have to differentiate. So what word is used for differentiate? Minal fajr. The phrase fajr. Fajr is separate. Is breaking. Cutting. Separating. Cracking. So minal fajr. So, Fudge is giving meaning here to differentiate, to separate from, yeah? So, black only whenever black, blacklisted. Black means blacklisted. And white is permissible or separated, yeah, from each other. And when you clearly know when you clearly understand, when you clearly detect them, so what is right for you, then take it. And then afterwards, summa atimmu. Then summa then atimmu is tamam. And stop, finish. What asayam? To determine. Stand with. Yeah? Like deep and dumb. Stand with like a deep and dumb. Stand with. Yeah? Ila Lail. Towards? Lail. Lail is not only night, but ignorance. And blacklisted things. And forbidden things. So you have to stop yourself towards ignorance, towards darkness, towards forbidden things. So this is all about this verse. I hope you will understand now. Thank you. Bye-bye.